Hey everyone, Victor here with Dapper Dash, and today I want to show you how you can leverage Power BI and connect it to your QuickBase data. So I'm going to show you how to make that connection right now. Uh, let's get started. Here we are in my QuickBase homepage. If you're watching this video, I assume you know you're already working in QuickBase and you're probably more familiar with this than I am. Uh, but you have your apps. You know, here I have an app that has census data, and here I have a custom app that comes with QuickBase uh, called Marketing Plans. It's just a basic template. Whichever app that you're trying to import into Power BI, and it might be both, but we're going to work with just one for for a moment. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to click on that app, right? It'll take you to that app homepage where you can see the different tables that you might have. What you're going to want to take from this is the app ID because the app ID is going to be important when importing this into Power BI. And so if you look at your URL up here, this last uh, alphanumeric character combo here is the app ID. So this is the app ID for my census data. And if I were to switch over to marketing plans, this is the app ID for marketing plans. Uh, so take a note of that one, write it down, and then we'll move on to the next step. In order to connect Power BI to your QuickBase data and your tables, you're going to need a token from QuickBase. Uh, that token is going to be used by the Power BI connector to gain access to the data in here. In order to set up that token, what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to the right. Under your name, you're going to click on My Preferences. And then you're going to see a section here called manage user tokens. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click on that one. And you're going to create a new user token. Now on this one, I'm going to name it Power BI Connect. You can name it whatever you want. I just know that this is the token that I'm using when connecting from Power BI. I'm going to put no description and you do have to assign it an app meaning that if you want to connect to multiple apps, you're going to need an app for each individual. You're going to need a token, sorry, for each individual app. So in this case, uh, I'm going to create one for my census data. That's the one that I want to initially connect to. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And it's going to generate this token. Now you can always come back into this page and view this token. But for right now, if you want, uh, you can save this somewhere, maybe like on a notepad. But do not hand this out to anyone because this token is what grants access from Power BI to be able to look at the data inside of your app. And so if someone has this token and they know your email and password, which would be a lot, but they could go in there and start looking at the data that you're working with. Okay, so this is how you get your token. And let's move on to the next step. Okay, here we are in Power BI. And to connect to QuickBase, it's gonna, we can do it pretty easy. And I'll show you the easy way to do it here. You can also do it using Power Query and M, and we'll look at some of the uh, functionality that you're able to do there. But for right now, we'll use the simple interface that Power BI provides. So if you type in QuickBase, you'll see that it'll immediately show up as a connection. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Connect. It's gonna give you a warning that this connection uses a third-party service to connect to it, which is fine. I'm okay to continue. And then you're going to need the app URL. So if you go to your QuickBase and you go to the app that you're going to use, in my particular case, I'm going to use this census data. You're going to copy the URL up here. And all you're going to do is you're going to paste it. Hit OK. And now it's going to require that user token. Now this is the token that we've created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab that and enter it in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit connect. And you can see that it's now connected to uh, my QuickBase app. Now, the particular app that I'm working with, so if we look at my census data app here, you'll see that I have two tables. So I have states and zip codes. Uh, that's all that I have. And I'm able to see that here inside of the connector states and zip codes. So now any other sort of sub tables that might be built from these tables, you're also going to see them listed out here. So I'm just going to work with my states table. 
and I'm gonna work with everything that's in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and I can hit load and it'll load it. And let's do that. Right, if I don't need to make any changes to my data types, I don't need to make any changes to my formatting or merge it with any other tables, I'm ready to just work with it. I can just hit load. It'll pull the data into Power BI. And now I'm ready to start you know, creating slicers. Okay, so we've made the connection with Power BI. Now let me show you some of the things that you can do within Power Query. So let's go into Transform Data. We're gonna go right into that table that we've connected to. And you can go ahead and click on Advanced Editor. And so this is all the code that went into making that connection into QuickBase. So let's back this up a little bit. Right now, we're connected to our states data. Remember, we went into our census data. Within our census data, we have this states data that's available to us. And we have two reports or charts that are available. There is this list all or this list changes. So if we go into here, we connect it to list all, but let me show you how we can take a step back. So I'm gonna delete this last step here and point the source to this one there. So this brings us back a step. So instead of, instead of going down to the specific list all, we're now just connected to the general states data which gives us two options or two tables that we can choose from. So that's where we are here. This connection here is saying connect to the census app and let's look at the state's data. And how do I know that this is the state's data specifically? Is because if I go into my QuickBase, you can see that this item right here, this isn't the app ID because I've clicked through to my state's data this is the ID for anything associated with states. So that ID matches down here. And remember, this ID is what matches the census app or whatever app you're in, right? This connection decides, determines the app. This connection determines which set of data, in my particular case, states. So yeah, so you can always go back even further. And if you connect just to this source step, this should connect just to the application census. And in this one, I should be able to see all of the different tables. So if I go home in my app, I should be able to see the two different tables in my case that I have. I have states data and I have zip codes data. So if I go just to this level, which is the app level, hit done. There it is, states data, zip code data. Now within each of these, I can go and, and narrow into, I can filter down into the zip codes data, which has two tables. I wanna look at all zip codes, which is this table. And what, what that's doing is essentially saying, okay, go into zip codes. I have two tables, go into list all. Here's the table. Here's the table. It's the same thing, and that's what we did with with these steps. Uh, but I'm gonna take it, once again, I'm gonna take it back just to the source, which is just at the application level. Right, states and zip. Okay, so what happens if I wanna connect to my other app? I no longer wanna work within the census data. I now wanna connect to the marketing plans. Well, this is where this ID comes in handy. So if you know the ID for marketing plans and you know the ID for census data or whatever your app might be, you can then interchange between the two. So let me show you. I'm gonna go ahead into the advanced editor. I'm gonna copy this connection, which is connected to my census app at the moment. I'm gonna create a new source. I'm actually gonna rename this. This is census app. I'm gonna create a new blank query, go to advanced editor, paste my code. And what I have to do here is I, I'm gonna change from my census ID, I'm gonna go grab my marketing plan ID and I'm gonna replace it. 
Now, I'm going to hit done and I'm going to show you what happens. It's going to say edit credentials. Uh, the reason why is because remember when we created a token, I mentioned that you need a token for each app that you want to make a connection to. I can't use the token from the census app to connect to the marketing plans. You need its own separate token. So all you have to do is go back through the steps that I showed on how to make a token and this time create one for the other application that you want to connect to. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab that token from the marketing application and I'm going to insert it into here. So I'm going to paste it there, hit connect. And now I have access to the marketing app. Okay, so there you have it. I've connected to my two apps. Um, and now if, if I want to dive into one of these specific tables, now be careful because it, if I want to create a connection to both my programs and my contacts data, the minute I hear, you know, I go drill into the data here, right? Now I can't really go back into the other tables that I wanted to look at unless I kind of retrace my steps, go all the way back to just the app level. So if I want to connect to programs, what I personally would do is I go to the advanced editor, copy this, create a new blank query, go to the advanced editor, paste it, hit connect, and I'm going to name this one programs all. And now I can go into my programs and look at all of the data associated with programs. Um, if I wanted to look at one of the other tables inside of my marketing app, I'll just do the same thing. I'll paste the general marketing app connection that I had. And this time I'm going to go into contacts and list all of my contacts and rename it to contacts all. Right. If I need to look at my zip code data, I'm not going to change anything here just because I might need to come back and forth and grab these connections. I'm going to copy this one, create a new blank query, go to the advanced editor, paste it, hit done. And this one is going to be my zip codes data. So I'm going to go ahead and name this one zip codes. And you can see this is a lot faster, right? I mean, I've pulled in three tables really quick from each of my different apps. Uh, this is a lot faster than having to go, you know, into new data, look up QuickBase, you know, hit connect, hit continue, enter your URL, enter your token. Um, instead of having to do that for each of these tables, it's just really easy for me to just create a blank query, advanced editor, paste my general connection. Remember, depending on which app you want, hit done. And this time I want my states data. So I'm going to name this one states. You know, click into there, click into which of my tables that are created for my states data I want. And there's my states data. So there you have it. That's a, a way to quickly work with the connections inside of Power Query. And, and remember, those connections, they, they just represent an application or they can represent uh, a set of tables or they can represent a specific table. And so I've walked you through all of that within Power BI. It's a pretty, pretty neat tool to be able to connect into QuickBase. And now I can start to build graphs and charts within Power BI if I don't want to do any of that inside of QuickBase.